This is the summary of Stephen Covey's book, Speed of Trust. Trust is not just something that is sentimental or great if you have it, but it is an asset for any business. To bring quantifiable economic value when trust is high, speed of execution goes up and costs go down. For that and other reasons, it's good to know how to build trust levels. To build a trust model, you can use the following mental model. Let's call it the five waves of trust. Because when a drop falls, the water expands and goes from the inside out. 1. Self-confidence means credibility. 2. Relationship trust means consistent behavior. 3. Organizational trust means alignment. 4. Market trust is reputation. 5. Social trust means contribution. Self-confidence is derived from your skills and your abilities to achieve your goals and maintain commitments. Before others can trust you, you have to trust yourself. To achieve this, you must first have an internal source that you feel good about. With this, ask yourself, do I trust myself? Other people can implicitly trust me. Credibility is derived from these four sources. 1. Integrity. To have integrity is to act according to your values and principles at all times, under all circumstances. Integrity goes beyond being honest. You must also be congruent, humble and courageous. To act and express yourself in the same way privately or publicly. To increase your integrity you can get into the habit of making commitments to yourself and keeping them. An unwavering will, and be sincere and open. 2. Intention. The key components are, your motives, what you do with your time, and how you behave. Keep in mind that you can't fake it with intention. To improve the results of your intention, you can always examine your motives. State your intentions out loud, and always choose abundance over scarcity. 3. Capabilities. These are your talents, attitudes, wisdom, skill and style, which makes you go for excellence. For this you can use the acronym, TOSS. Your talents are your natural gifts and strengths. Your attitudes are how you do things well. Your skills are your expertise. And what you do exceptionally well. Your wisdom is your learnings, experiences, intuitions, and insights. Style is the way you deal with situations, based on your personality. To increase your capabilities, you can identify your strengths and work on them. Don't stop learning, and know exactly where you are going. 4. Results Results speak. Ask yourself what tangible results are you generating on a daily basis? And how are you generating these results? To improve your results, you can take responsibility for them instead of your activities. Expect to win every time, and learn how to finish strong. Relationship trust is how you subsequently increase the trust you have with other people. The key is to act consistently in all circumstances. Leaders who have high trust with others demonstrate 13 behaviors that anyone can learn to build trust. 1. Speak up. Always be honest and say what you think without questioning yourself. Show respect for the dignity and feelings of others. Be kind. Be transparent. That is, be honest with what is going on. If you make a mistake, correct it. This way you show humility and courage. Be loyal. Always give credit to people and avoid criticizing. Deliver results. Be proactive in getting things done rather than letting things happen on their own. Improve yourself. Increase your personal capabilities. Confront reality. If you are a person who handles and acknowledges difficult situations, people will trust you more. Condition expectations. Always state your expectations so that they are clearly defined. Be responsible for the consequences of your actions. Listen first, evaluate what you heard and diagnose with empathy. Do what you say you will do. Trust more of the people you trust. That will make them show more of themselves. Organizational trust occurs when the organization aligns for consistent goals. Trust aligns objectives and you can create and maintain a high trust organization.
people work better in an environment with trust. When there is no trust things like fraud, staff turnover, duplication of effort, distant people, misguided office politics, etc. can happen. On the other hand, if there is trust in the organization, value increases and sales go up. There is teamwork and efficiency. Better execution of strategies, loyalty and sense of strength. Market confidence refers to your reputation in the marketplace. When investors, customers and the conscious market act totally differently, they buy more, reference more and give you the benefit of the doubt. So ask yourself, does your brand have integrity? Does your brand have good intentions? Does your brand have positive connotations? Is your brand associated with results? If you still have doubts, analyze your company with the 13 behaviors to maximize your reputation. Social trust increases when you create and give value to others and to society itself. When you give something to society, cynicism and suspicion can be removed from the equation. Frequently, these actions inspire others to contribute to society as well. Organizations that consistently contribute tend to have better reputations than those that make headlines. Nothing is more profitable in business than trust. The ability to inspire others is the main difference between a boss and a leader. To inspire others, you must combine the following things. You must learn to trust intelligently. You must have the ability to restore lost trust. And you must naturally trust others in all situations. And this was Stephen Covey's summary of the speed of trust. If you like it, you can share this video with people who want to build more trust. Thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep learning from more videos like this one. See you next week and remember, smart work is the key to success.